Is your C drive running out of space and you need more room for important files and programs? In today's video, we'll walk through each step of expanding your C drive without any external tools, using only the built-in tools in Windows. We'll tackle common issues like locked recovery partitions, unmovable system files, and what to do if you're trying to extend the C drive but keep getting stuck. Let's dive right in. Hi viewers, welcome to my channel Tech2AI. In this video, we're going to address some key challenges you might face when trying to expand your C drive. Problem 1. Why you can't extend the C drive if the recovery partition is in the way. Problem 2. How to determine if your recovery partition has data and whether it's safe to delete. Problem 3. Using command prompt and disk part for advanced actions when disk management won't cooperate. Problem 4. Changing drive letters without impacting your files. Bonus tip, handling any other hidden obstacles you might encounter. To begin, right click the Windows Start button and select Disk Management. If you're on Windows 10, you can also type Disk Management into the search box. In Disk Management, we see a list of volumes along with their sizes. Here I have three main volumes C, D and E, plus two recovery partitions. C drive is my primary drive where Windows is installed. Let's open File Explorer to confirm as we can see my C drive is running low on storage with only 24 GB left out of 194 GB while D has 376 GB free. I want to shrink about 200 GB from D and add it to C. If I right click on C drive, the Extend Volume option is grayed out. If it's clickable in your case, great, just select it, follow the prompts and you're done. But if you're facing the same problem, Let's first understand why this happens. Understanding the block by the recovery partition. In disk management, if there's a recovery partition directly next to the C drive, it prevents expansion. Windows requires unallocated space directly beside C to extend it. In our example, the recovery partition is blocking this, meaning we need to address it first. Windows disk management doesn't allow us to delete protected partitions like the recovery partition, so we'll need to use disk part, a powerful command line tool. You may have two scenarios here. Scenario 1. Your recovery partition has essential files. In this case, decide if you want to keep the recovery data or are okay with deleting it. Scenario 2. The recovery partition is empty, which is often the case after a recent Windows upgrade. To see if your recovery partition has data, enable hidden files and protected operating system files in File Explorer. Right-click the recovery partition in Disk Management if you only see help. That's normal for protected partitions. Here's what to do. Your attention is needed from here on, guys. Try to understand what we are doing here. If you follow these steps carefully, you see how simple it is. So open command prompt as administrator. Type disk part Type list volume Here you will see the list of volumes on your disk. You need to recognize which volume is the recovery volume here. Focus of the size of the volume. Our recovery partition size was 880 MB. It means that volume 4 is our recovery partition. Type select volume 4. Here you replace the number of your recovery volume with 4. Volume 4 is selected. Type assign letter equal sign R or whatever letter you want to give. Successfully assign the drive letter. Type exit to exit. Disk part and close CMD. Now let's check out our recovery drive, which now appears in File Explorer as Drive R. We're going to create a new partition to safely hold the files from our recovery drive. Since the recovery drive is 880 MB, we'll shrink drive D by a bit more than that, about 1000 MB to create enough space. Here's how. 
right click on drive D in disk management and select shrink volume. When prompted, enter 1000 MB as the amount of space to shrink. This ensures we'll have enough room for our recovery files. Click shrink and you'll see a new unallocated space of 1000 MB beside drive D. Now we have a small dedicated area where we can move our recovery files. Now we have successfully created 1000 MB of unallocated space. Let's assign it a drive letter to make it accessible. Right click on the unallocated space and select new simple volume. Click next in the wizard, leave the default settings unchanged, then click next again. Select the drive letter for the new volume from the list of available options. Here we'll choose F. Click next. Ensure the file system is set to NTFS for compatibility and performance. Click next and then finish to complete the setup. Now open File Explorer and you'll see the newly created F drive ready for use. Our drive R is now accessible as our recovery drive. Let's open it to check for any important files. 1. Open drive R in File Explorer. 2. If no files are visible, click on the View tab at the top, then select Show, and check hidden items to reveal any hidden files. Upon inspection, I see just a single file that's 0KB in size indicating that the recovery partition is empty. This may be the case if, like me, you've recently upgraded to Windows 1124H2, which can sometimes clear recovery data. However, if you see files here, copy or cut all contents from drive R and paste them into the new F drive we created earlier. Once copied, double check that all files have transferred properly for backup. Now go back to disk management to confirm the volume sizes and make sure everything's backed up and ready for further adjustments. Since my recovery volume is completely empty, showing 100% free space, we can safely proceed. If yours shows full, or 5 to 10% free, ensure you've backed up any essential files from the recovery partition. Now that our backup is complete, we can delete the recovery partition. However, since the delete option isn't available directly in disk management, we'll handle it. Open command prompt as administrator. Type disk part and press enter to launch the disk part tool. Next, type list disk and press enter. Disk 0 will likely be your main disk if you have only one hard drive installed. Now select Disk 0 by typing. Select Disk 0 and pressing Enter. Partition and press Enter. Identify the recovery partition in the list. In our case, it's Partition 4. Select the recovery partition by typing. partition 4, replace 4 with your partition number if different and press enter. Now delete the recovery partition by typing. Delete partition override and press enter. This command will delete the recovery partition permanently. Once complete, type exit to close. This part and exit command prompt. The recovery partition is now deleted and we've successfully freed up space next to the C drive for expansion. With the recovery partition removed, we now have unallocated space next to the C drive, which means we can expand the C drive. To extend the C drive, right-click the C drive in Disk Management. Select Extend Volume. Follow the wizard to allocate the unallocated space to the C drive, expanding its storage. Once this is done, we can free up additional space from Partition D to shrink Partition D. Right-click on Partition D and select Shrink Volume. In the dialog, enter the amount of space to shrink. I'll enter 200,000 MB, roughly 200 GB. Click Shrink. 
This action provides 195 GB of unallocated space, but it's located beside D, not C. To solve this, we will assign a drive letter to this new unallocated space. Right click the unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Follow the wizard, assign a letter and click finish. You've now created and organized unallocated space for future use or for expanding other drives. With the new volume G created, we're ready to back up and reorganize our data. Open File Explorer and copy all data from drive D. Paste this data into drive G to ensure everything from drive D is backed up. With the data securely saved in Drive G, we can safely remove Volume D. In Disk Management, right-click on Volume D and select Delete Volume. Confirm by clicking Yes. Now Volume D has become unallocated space. Now to merge unallocated space with the C drive. Right-click on the C drive in Disk Management. Select Extend Volume. Follow the wizard by clicking Next, then Finish. Your C drive now includes the newly unallocated space, expanding its capacity successfully. And there you have it. We've successfully expanded the C drive without any external software. To hide our recovery drive, currently labeled as F, follow these steps. Your recovery drive is now hidden from view. If you need to access it again, you can easily reassign a drive letter in disk management. You can also change the drive letter for G back to D to keep your drive labels consistent. Here's how. Right click on drive G in disk management. Select change drive letter and paths from the menu. Click change, then choose D from the list of available letters. Follow the prompts in the wizard and click OK to confirm the change. And that's it. Your drive is now back to D for easy reference. I hope this guide helped you reclaim space on your C drive and optimize your storage. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more helpful tech tutorials. Mm -hmm.